happy servant to you all once again. Mamu na happy, happy, happy servant. Maniaji and Nesso say, May bow in chain. Mano of his year, a rade and horse. Now, said he, last week, Makayano, and there ye toa, ye worry, said Nesso. Considering marital divorce, there are different types of divorce. The very divorce are uh, 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 so many, many. But we want to refer to marital, bring that adjective to qualify what type of divorce we are talking about. We change them say our real, our real and on and they we say you know it's your heart. That is what we want to consider. And um, in humility, I will wish that we bow down our heads and pray with God. Everybody, yet that was say we thank you, Father. We thank you for this Sabbath day. We thank you for the messages we have heard in our village churches. We thank you. This day, we also pray that you come to our aid and grant us understanding to this very important lesson from the Bible so that we can live well and adjust our marriages to suit what you want it to be. Be with us, O Lord, in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. I am very grateful for today. Now, my In 1917, Russia passed a law of no fault in divorce. No fault in divorce. In 1945, America also followed. I almost just said, um, if you want to divorce, there's, there's no fault. You can just do it. It is easy to give your wife uh, a divorce certificate that the magistrate and the lawyers have signed, and you can. Uh, so, divorce has become so rampant, especially in our world today. People marry, and I was told that the shortest. Uh, marriage that ever existed on earth is a three minute uh, three minute marriage. I was there and I did three minutes. When they just married instantly, the guy said he was going to file for divorce. When they have not even gone for a money move, <laughs> you opt up for divorce. And meanwhile, in a, in a few minutes' time, he said, I do. You exclaim, I do. But within some few minutes from the uh, time of blessing, he said, I'm seeking for divorce. When they have not even seen themselves. And you see, the, <laughs> what world are we living in here? Divorce has been so rampant. And in every society and in every tribe, every tongue, Everywhere divorce is being considered. You look at it and you cannot reason. Fortune, you cannot understand why this manners of divorce. Most of the times, we Christians also seek for divorce. But I want us to take a look at um, a very prominent person in the Bible who also thought of divorce, but when he was advised, turned from it. And that is found in Matthew chapter 1, verses 19. Let me read this scripture. We always talk about Joseph. And we, we ever talked about him divorcing Mary when he saw that Mary was pregnant. You who said Mary and him not. Joseph ASO Vijana. Let me read it from the scripture. Matthew chapter 1, verses 19. 
and Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away happily. Joseph discovering that Mary was pregnant, but he was not responsible, decided to put her away. And that's the meaning of divorce, putting her away. Separative. And the Joseph, almost, when Joseph saw that Mary was pregnant, um, he said, I will divorce Mary. But I want you to take notice of something here in the same verse that and Joseph her husband being a just man in other version it is rendered a righteous man a just man a righteous person for that matter he has an affiliation with Jesus Christ with God 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 is righteous he also was righteous. His ways were perfect. He was walking in the ways of God. He was a Christian, a God-loving person. That was Joseph, Jesus, Mary's husband, Jesus' father, earthly father, right? This just man considered in his mind that this woman I have to divorce her secretly, privately. I don't want to shame her. I don't want to put her in shame, so I have to divorce her. Maybe we know. Why he had this thought? Because he had this thought. Let's read the next verse. The next verse said, But why he thought up these things? But once he thought on these things, while he was contemplating on divorce, while he was just say, thinking that divorce would be the best alternative, while he was still, still thinking about, oh, let me divorce her secretly so that nobody sees it, let me divorce her, let me nyano. While he was doing that, the Bible says that, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, Thou son of David, fear not to make on to take Mary unto to take Mary to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Whilst he was still contemplating, a blow all day said, Obi or one and I did the so more die in our dream home. In fact, the answer was the dear Abraham, but God communicated with him. He knows the voice of God. This man, Joseph, he could identify the voice of God from the voice of Satan and his agent. So when the voice came to him, he said, Fear not. Fear not to take Mary as your wife. And so, so before Mary saw here, now about friend of him, where you feel no, or no, I'm crooking again. Hallelujah. If you are a righteous person, if you are a just person, so we are in the we are in the power, we are in the ten near, over ten years, many, then you make kind of some, I'm just some such a casual over ten. Joseph understood what the angel wanted to tell him. So, but I love this. Joseph never took time like how what Moses did to question God and ask God. He didn't take time to question God like how Malachi did. No, he didn't do that. When the insult, he identified the voice as that of God, he obeyed. Amen. My friend, are you seeking for divorce? Are you seeking for divorce? Let's read something for the book of Malachi, chapter 2. And it will amaze you to know that this divorce that you are considering, 
is not what God wants you to do. It is not nice to have a divorce. In, the, in Malachi chapter 2, let me read it from the Bible. For the Lord, the God of Israel, said that he hated putting away. God of Israel said he hated putting away, divorcing. He hate divorce. I hate divorce. That is God's instruction. And it is because um, Joseph, as we identify him to be a just man, I knew that God hated divorce, though he has considered in his heart to secretly divorce Mary. He stopped. He stopped. God said he hated it. And there will not be going to be any generation that God will say, now I, I now love divorce. There's not going to be any situation in life that the God will say, I now I permit that you can be divorcing your wives and uh, doing this. No. God says, I hate putting away. For one covered violence with his garment, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that ye do not treacherously. If you are crossing here, no one hears some from so way. Yeah. Some born for some way. That is what the Bible treacherously. No one can say, well, yeah, uh, we are Christian, and so we are men, 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 I will not. If you are a just man, like what Joseph did, you will pay heed to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Now, what If to me, if you divorce your wife, it means you are divorcing with God as well. Don't you believe that? Because he hates it and you have done it. And for that matter, okay, if God I don't care about you, I don't I don't care about your stand. So therefore, um, my wife is troubling me, my husband is troubling me, so for that matter, if you do anything to me, you can do it. I'm going my way. I'm going to I'm I'm taking this awful decision. God says he hates divorce. Yes. So as Christians, we should be very careful about this. In the time of the Israelites, um, Moses told the Israelites that if you want to divorce your wife, you can give her a, a divorce certificate and do that. But Jesus said, no, 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 it shouldn't be. If only there is faithfulness, the husband is taken to the wife. And the wife is also sticking to the husband, the two, now becoming one. If that concept exists between them, then there shouldn't be any divorce. You cannot issue just a certificate of paper and say you are divorcing your wife. The Bible is against that. The Bible is against that. So when you come to the book of um, Matthew chapter 18, uh, Matthew chapter 19. The Pharisees came to Jesus. Let's read that scripture and, uh, and see what Christ said. In Matthew chapter 19. And see. The Pharisees came to Jesus and asked Jesus this question because they are quoting what Moses said. They were quoting what Moses said. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished this saying, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea, beyond Jordan. And great multitude followed him and, held, and he held them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him. Look at it. They were tempting Jesus, almost son of it, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful? For a man to put away his wife for every cause. 
So a yes, so on the petty, the bianti, say binti, Obeman Jan a year and a They were saying this to tempting. And he answered and said unto them, Have you to read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall be one flesh? Munkai! So, go ahead, divorce. Christ will not say he has to divorce for any cause. And what does it mean for any cause? Therefore, for this any cause, will let us look at some of the causes for divorce. Sometimes, some issues are very manual, uh, minor. They, 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 are, they have no salt. They are, they, when you even look at it, that this is the cause of the divorce. It looks bold. Somebody says because she's a barren, because she's impotent. Yes. When you let me take this to uh, explain this point very well. When you took your husband, he was not impotent. He was active in sex, right? But in the course of life, maybe things changed. He, was, he felt sick. Something changed in his physiology. And that affected his sexual organ. And he becomes impotent. God does not expect you to divorce your husband on that ground. No. Say, no kuno no hu ni ho odabna da enti mi gano babo no kan sa. Sa wonne ye bibi da. Oni na da da. Oni ne e dia empoma gro da. Ana e chire ni yare ne ba ya. Ene ne se de emi ni e bi ka on. Or say, a bear will could be over sweat. It will be your, your burden that you carry throughout your life. Because the emanate you are really a young nano. Right. And then, see, baby, I'm a catcher, a man, and a man, a man say, a man, ma, you know, more die. And then, a man, do I know my dad, where I sit, and son, never worry, you know, my normal transfer. Say, I'm cast up on any one. It is not so that I am say, yeah, yeah, that divorce. The first woman you slept with was your wife. The first man you slept with was your husband. And if you fail to confess it, now if you go worry the second man, no, it will stand in heavenly book against your name that you divorced. Because and no one ever know. And then the money yet our rear. And then he said, "No, no, 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 no. It is not. The Bible will not say yes. Me here, what do you mean for your funeral? My wife is barren. She cannot conceive. For this number of years, we have struggled having bed, and and for that matter." I want a child. No, no, no. That doesn't warrant divorce. And just a mawar jayamra. The Bible is against that. God say he hates it. He hates divorce. Absolutely. Totally. Now why cannot cook for me and then for that matter? Get solved in this. This cannot <laughs> warrant divorce. <laughs> yes, sometimes you can go to a law court and you sign, sign your, your your document, the divorce document. But in the Christian realm, it is not allowed that you you, you go in for this act. The Bible does not sanction that. Bible no impresses her. Say, you know what? Anything 
Minion Madafu. In humility, me say, say, Yem for Joseph. And yes, you he was a just man. Are you a just man? He was a woman being like us. Then the man was just. The man we pay any say he walked in the statutes and in the commandments of God. On until oh, when you make a sa, when you make a chemo, and the man we pay it, and no na say only then two more we pay it. And until Abraham. Yeah, I saw phone back at China. Say, I'm from the South. I'm from the poor back at China. I saw phone. I saw phone. I saw phone. I saw phone. I saw Take Mary as your wife. Don't fear to take Mary as your wife. And she, he understood the voice as that of God. Sometimes we come to the Bible, we come and present the scriptures to us and say, the Bible says this. And because you have made your heart so strong, and the Bible not going to die, let me have my peace. A just man will not consider divorce. You will bear with it gradually, 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 until one day the law crowns you with his word, well done, the faithful servant. Yes, anything, yeah, yeah, worry no. Bible no catch it and say, uh, yeah, yeah, no coffee. I'm from my year, no, you couldn't know. And to death, do us apart, we stay together for better, for worse. Me, me, yeah. Najuma said, "When you Juma, she is just a housewife, and I'm spending a whole lot of on him, on her, and maybe she will fall sick. Her panties, I will buy everything. I'll be taking them. I can't do. It. I'm tired. Please, are you a just man? Are you a Christian? Are you a righteous person? Like Joseph, Joseph was a just man. He was contemplating divorce." No, all doing so be Mary. But when he understood the voice of God that I hate divorce, I go, I hate divorce. He changed his mind. Amen. Will you change your mind? Will you change your mind? My friend, change your mind. It will be good for you. Change your mind. It will be well for you. The only grounds upon which the Bible tells us that we can divorce, permit divorce, is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 32. In fact, this is, um, and what does it say? Matthew chapter 5, verses 32. Let me read, but I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saying for the cause of fornication, cause her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her, that is divorce, committed adultery. Obi obi jani ye na enye se na ye na finechi. Obi obi jani kunu na enye se na kunu na finechi. Sani no obo jamai. Ndi se jamai mbobo mwa ba kufi ba kuchi ya ene na ende ba ba no mahamu kwa nse you can cause a divorce. But the man is under no circumstances says the Francis for the Bible of Matthew chapter nineteen for any cause can a man divorce his wife? I am not talking to you as, but I am talking to you because you are wearing a coat. Let me say, say because wish a coat, I mean, we are putting on Christianity, an identity as a righteous person. 
And before you become a righteous, I, I have already explained, you need to hear the voice of God and walk in the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Just imagine they are a hope of being possessed. Obi no be a one no no jano. I'm a frano among coin. What is the state of the children? Who's going to father them? Who's going to mother them? Who? How would their life be? Look at the number of street children in our way. And we all know the effect of single parentness. And then um, divorce is not better. It's not a better choice. In the Christian realm, it is not allowed. It is a taboo. It is not good to divorce. And yet, in the book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> chapter 22, I can't say, now, as I can say, say, uh, Obase, Ugo Maria Baba, our Yabuno. Now Bassa, Ubi Jano. Now Baba Catching Papa say, Papa and Bessemija, eh, of a person Bessemija, Saha Baba, where The Baba will not can say. Never probably prove it, say, a Baba one now, Ubi Jano. Only die, only over while I know the Babuno. And empty. The Omfa Beshita, Muda Sono, and Machre. Now Omfa Machre say, Sa Ababa Wano. No, or your Babun on any die, and this is our Babun. And as I will be so with Jan as I bring into no. Yam Moka, Nafi, eh, Yenza Momma Roba Pavano, said ye, Babun, as ye. Mammon Cantero. Uh, that is determined chapter 22, verses 13, Eban. Moment T. If a man take a wife and go into her and hit her and give occasion of speech against her and bring up the evil name upon her and say, I took this woman and when I came to hit her, I found her not a maid. In other words, I found out her not to be a virgin. Then shall the father of the this desma, Ababa Wan Papa, and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the desma's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. Never pardon God for Bessie to now. On the look on the dazzle, they did kind of. Non from Ra, and pay for the name, and more moody as some no enim. And the desperate father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hid her head. May they may buy ma, Ababa, why you say, on Warreno, a bounty is on Warreno, now Zidio or Tan, or Peso Jano. And lo, he has given occasion of speech against her saying, I found not that daughter uh, may, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. Beman say, maybe now Ababa Wano, on your babunu, my father, no, on your babunu, but Papa, no, the end to mama ever try, na or say, and to mama does what they did kind of any, any, this is it, or the try, and they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. Not in Tumana Simple name. And the elders of the city shall take that man and chastise him. Now, I'm for nobody, and I'm so approved what the name of your charity. You bet you obey a man or so. You bet Jinisika can can quiet. Nay, as I shall say, on what I'm making can go, and 
and they shall em, and they shall immerse him in an hundred sickles of silver and give them unto the father of the desma because he has brought brought up an evil name upon her virgin of Israel and she shall be his wife he may not put her away all his life. Amen. Oh, Nyanita, one in the bed, turn him, God in there. You must have born a car at this camera, Papa, not so no. That is found in the term of your identity. So, why do you want to divorce your wife? Lie, some people will create some lies and label your wife. Remember, I I love what Joseph did. Because Joseph did not want to put Mary to shame, he said, he considered in his own heart, I would do it secretly. And that was not even the best. And remember, what is even what was even within him and has not yet even come forth from his mind, his mouth, was being read by God. I didn't see any person who go to the animal society. The enemy now opens up. You want to say all sort of things against your wife? That is not true. You want to say all things against your husband? That is not true. God say he hate it. I remember the ten commandments: that shall not lie, that shall not bear false witness. What do you gain? They don't be here. God says he hates divorce. He hates it. Therefore, we need to do away with this evil tendency. We are just men. Just men consider divorce. When God says he hates divorce, never find change. May God have mercy upon us. My dear one. I wish you want to get to heaven. I wish you want to follow the precepts of Jesus. Therefore, I will advise you humbly that do not put away your wife. Love her. Love her to death do you apart. Love her. Nema it me emma wareba. Awareba. You whoop and then there were more. These two death and fornication or adultery. So, if all remain faithful, yes, we may disagree in one way or the other, but that doesn't warrant divorce. We may quarrel, we may, yeah, the woman may say she won't give you her money, and what is it? So, that she will divorce her. No, bear it. it that's your cross. And you were sin, you know. Joseph is a model I want you to emulate. Because you call yourself a Christian. Christ follower. Who from who Christian name? Therefore, you are purified by Christ. You are just. You have no stain in your life. Don't consider divorce because God hates it. One, more said, more person with Jam, a year no. Consider Joseph in Matthew chapter 1, verse 19. Analyze that scripture very well and put yourself there. Well, should I do that? Should I do that? No. May the Lord help us. Very moy. I don't want now on moy. Now I can cry at you. And yeah, yeah. Now you may need to know that. Now you must divorce. Yeah, the part. Divorce. And you may choose that. But now you choose that with the man. You stand and wait and see what you want to do. Every evil. Including divorce, which is also evil, is 
hated by God. Na yabari na yabari na ano? Si na 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 meka yen awo. Si a video no si yabari ubi a yen ni ni di di ba kumu no. Aye, awari ane aye ayon ko fa edda yen ni yon kwantem. Yabari ni ame. Si si yakase. Then it means we are divorcing God. But let me say this in the book, the last scripture I would like to read is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 14. And I love this um, scripture very much because some scripture we admire and the supper. A man in crunchy, a man said, Your uncle Phobia, moon fire, a fee any day, and cow or muscle. Now, down for no, a general ascent to deal with muscle. And what is the father's name? The father's name is just. Let me read it for, for verse 1. Revelation we'll chapter 14. And I look. And lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name. L listen to that place again. Having his father's name written in their forehead. That is their identity, the name of Christ, the character of Jesus. Just, perfect, good. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. And as the voice of a great tender, and I heard the voice of the harpers, happy with their harps. And they sang as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the 144,000 which were, which were redeemed from the earth. This, look at, look at it, verse 5. I love this. I say, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they were virgins. These are they which keep the command, which follow the Lamb wheresoever he will go it. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto God and unto the Lamb. Hallelujah. They followed the Lamb, God, wherever God went. In the directions of God, they followed. So when Mo Joseph heard the voice from the angel, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. Whilst he was still considering divorce, he turned. He followed the Lamb wherever he directed his thoughts. What is your thought? What can you say? Maybe they are not. Because school has saying, no. I've, I've attained a higher degree. I'm not a professor. And my wife is an illiterate. And for that matter, I, she, um, the caliber, the, the, my academic led, where I have climbed, she is not fit to be. Why are you there? Why are you going? I don't go into the grave. It's your wife that Why is she going? Is it the same grave? Is it the same six inches? Uh, you all will be different. Number one, consider to stay close with your wife. Consider to stay with your husband. Love it. With all things possible, continue to stay together as husbands and wives. Commit your ways to God. There's no problem that the Lord cannot solve for you. Pray together over your problems. Sing together of, our, of your problem. Tell God your heart. Pray to Him. Define what you want your marriage to be. And how you can sustain the marriage or make it very attractive depends on you and your wife, not any other person. You cannot make your wife, your, your marriage 
very present with that the two of you cooperating. Let's cooperate with one another so that our marriages can endure. And when Christ comes, oh yes, though there will not be marriages in heaven, yet he will bid us well done, good and faithful servant. May the Lord bless us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody that was saying, oh, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the <laughs> A boy in San Compa, a ready and a running gui. This about my worry. And it was so chichi. I mean, you who ye. Yes, so brave. No one don't know so many. You who train, eh? Oh, yes, good to be a monkey. Amen. As I always say, I thank you for the questions you have been sending. I know, I hope you have enjoyed the response I give to your, your, your questions. Yes, you can send me an email. You can really visit me on my Facebook wall and write to me. I'll respond as I do. Or you can call me and we shall have a chat. As I said, my um, email address is bawalanso at gmail.com or bawalanso at yahoo.com. The bawalanso is spelled B A W A L A N S O. That is Bawala and so it's a more name. And um, you can write me there and uh, I'll respond to you. I'll answer you. Or if you also wish, you can WhatsApp me on or call me on this number. If you are away from Ghana, you use the Ghana code 233 744030 or uh, yes, that is my WhatsApp number. Those of you who want to call me, you can call me on 0244-764030 or 0202029920. I have an airtel number to, that I do use. And that is also 0026-974-3622. You can call me off on any of these numbers. And uh, I will love to respond to you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord sh make his face shine up upon you and grant you peace in your marriages. May the Lord speak to you as you are contemplating for divorce so that when you hear your voice you will fear the Lord and resent your decision of divorce. May the Lord bless you because you are just married. Amen. <laughs>